Yeah, so I all of a sudden hear Mama, and um, I walk out in the garage, and she's falling on some boxes, and she's like, chair. I'm like, well, the chair's right over there, and she, <laughs> she's like, no, Mom, wheelchair. Monday morning and I just woke up an hour earlier than I usually do and I'm kind of annoyed with my body about it because I know I will pay for it later but I'm just going to will it because I couldn't get back to sleep <laughs> and I'm going to start working on taking my morning breakfast of pills so I'm just gonna enjoy my morning for myself a little bit longer before I go see everyone else they're still asleep, but they should be awake soon. And I'm enjoying some Last Airbender. I was watching it with Hannah last night, but I told her she didn't have to keep watching it with me because she still has about 90 episodes of Naruto Shippuden left to watch. And I'm watching that with her. <laughs> so I do not want to have to wait even longer to finish Naruto with her. And she doesn't want to wait longer any either because she loves it and it's rather intense so she wants to see what happens next so I told her she have to wait for Avatar for me she can watch it as she wants to but I want to keep watching because I haven't seen it in so long so I'm gonna have a little Avatar marathon this morning before I have to get going because my knees are my all my joints are and my EDS is not enjoying all the strain it's now Monday and it's been raining since last Sunday with only a break on Thursday. So I'm really hoping it'll calm down soon. We'll see. But I'll see you later. Good afternoon guys. Um, I am just getting my, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm feeling weird all of a sudden. Um, I have food. Oh, that was way too hard. Can I get out of my bed? I have food I need to eat, so I'm gonna try and make this fast. Um, yesterday, my aunt Ginger came into town, and I'm not even seeing my face. Uh, she came into town and helped us tackle a big project that has been needing work, which is the closet here in my bedroom. Which, before this was my bedroom, this was the office, so this was the office closet. And you know, everybody has that black hole in their house where everything just gets sucked in to the abyss and everything just gets piled in there and sometimes it's your microwave, sometimes it's that cabinet in the back of your kitchen or you know, there's a closet. This was that closet and it was a mess. There's a lot of stuff that was in there. It was literally overflowing. And um, so we basically just got a bunch of boxes. My room was full of boxes and we just sorted everything into those boxes. And those boxes are out in the garage now, sorted, and we're probably going to just go through those slowly through time and figure out what we need and don't need and all that and where it's all going to go. But for now, this is the closet. Look at it. It's a pretty empty space. I mean, I'm like really happy about this. Um, let me see. I need this to focus better. There we go. It's really dark in there, so sorry. There's no light. There are a few things still in here, but these are most of the things that are going to stay for now. These are bins I'll probably use for organizing. We put these up last night. We set these up for just these like cloth bins and stuff. So um, I'll probably put my stuff in here. Um, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to store in the closet, but we're going to figure that out just because with health stuff ever changing and I've got a bunch of doctor appointments coming up I'm not sure what I'll need the storage space for so I'm just not setting plans for anything so I'm gonna leave that fairly open um, but I am gonna try to use the storage space to get some of my clothes in here and try and get myself and Rachel a little less cramped on space because we're both pretty crammed with our clothes and everything um, so, yeah, I am really happy to have that. It makes the room 
feel a bit more open to have that clean. Um, and yep, yeah, that's a that's about it. Nice clean closet. But um, I'm going to go eat because I need to take meds in about 10 minutes. And I don't like eating and taking meds at the same time. So I can just never get over how cute and adorable this little cinnamon wall is. I love her so much. I mean, look at her. Look at this cinnamon wall face. Hey, Thimble Baby. You're so cute. Yeah, you are. Look at you. One thing about chronic illnesses that even if you're up to doing something or you do it, <laughs> even if you're not up to it, is that it doesn't mean it doesn't greatly affect you. Like, I was up to doing dishes, but it cost me a lot of spoons, meaning it means I have less energy and to, for the day, as in with pain and fatigue and all my symptoms, it just exacerbating th everything. There's only a certain amount I can do because of that, so that's what it means by spoons. And doing this cost me a lot of spoons, and by the time I got back to my room, I was fall over backwards when I slipped my shoes off, and I feel really bad now. So I'm going to let my body rest for a bit, and after I'm recovered enough to not feel like this, I'll take my morning nap. But I'm really happy I got that done. It the kitchen looks so nice with clean dishes so it's always feels very accomplishing to do that because you can just it's obvious to see the difference of before and after you do dishes and it really helps because you need to just eat and cook so I'm gonna go guest and hopefully feel better in a bit once I recover from my low blood pressure and tachycardia I took a nap and I feel so much better now. I really need that nap today, especially after yesterday. So I'm thankful for you feeling better. And I took my medicine and I helped uh, my mom create a video and clip for our vlogs. So I watched for that. <laughs> but now I'm going to enjoy some lunch and some herbinder while I eat. Here's what I'm having. It's a uh, partial stuff eggplant, um, some Thai coconut soup, and a little melon. Even though my swallowing is better today, I want to give myself a few options to what to eat, so that way if one texture gets overwhelming, I could eat, try something else. But hopefully I'll be able to eat without any problems. Setting up Netflix in my room for Sarah. She really loves my room, and right now we're about to watch a movie with my aunt before she goes back to Arkansas tomorrow. So I'm going to watch Miraculous Ladybug, which she loves, in my room. And she's very happy with it. <laughs> so I'm g I, we're going to watch a World War II movie. I'm not sure I like it. I don't seem like World War II movies. So I have a book or three... <laughs> that I can choose from. And I'm gonna have a hedgie. I was just wanting to thimble. And I would hold Wendy, but Wendy has a problem and tends to pee a lot. So I'll probably wait to hold Wendy later this evening when I'm not on the couch with company. So I'll probably hold Trill for now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm having a really good time. I feel so much better than I did this morning. So I'm really thankful for that. <laughs> It's like perception. It's about 11.30 now. It is really late. I'm tired. 
haven't had a good night's sleep for the last couple nights because Sarah's not been doing well. I'm going to feed her because for those of you who didn't catch it, we didn't get up till close to noon because we haven't been sleeping well because of her. But she, um, so I need to make her some sweet potatoes. I forgot to cook them earlier and that's what she has to have for dinner. So I need to do some of the pressure cooker really fast and I'm going to do some dishes, watch some YouTube as I do that. And then I think Carolyn and I are going to chill and watch some TV and hopefully we'll get some sleep. Last couple of nights it's been like 4 a.m. till I got before I got to sleep. Um, Rachel every day, to <laughs> every day for our house. Rachel had gone out to the garage to slice, slice <laughs> and zest the lemon. You went to zest as the yes. lemon, and, lime, I mean lime. Actually. Yeah, to make some <laughs> um, strawberry limeade. And um, the garage is not air conditioned, and it's hot. And she uh, had blood pressure was already low because I'm not on my medicine. And she'd already bent down and twice, <laughs> twice, and made her blood pressure every time. With pots, when you bend down, stand up, makes your blood pressure drop. Your heart rate goes up and your blood pressure goes down, which means syncope or passing out. So she had done that twice already and was like, oh, I'm not feeling so good. And I was getting sweet potatoes going for Sarah, wasn't paying attention to her. And us with chronic illness like to push ourselves. Yeah, so I all of a sudden hear, Mama! And, um... I walk out in the garage and she's falling on some boxes and she's like, chair. I'm like, well, the chair's right over there. And she, <laughs> she's like, no, mom, wheelchair. And I was like, oh, okay. So I went and got the wheelchair and brought it to her. Okay. Yeah, so I need to wash your blender now and make your... Getting off my feet really helps stabilize my blood pressure. So sometimes that's not enough. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's not. But I'm going to make her... Or I'm gonna get the stuff. Yeah, you can just get the limes out and I can make it. Okay. I looked like I was doing that thing. I don't, I'm not very good at pop culture, so I think it's called a dab. I don't know, like when they do this. I have no, now you're asking me that. I, well, I, sometimes I you know, you. Huh? sometimes, occasionally, rarely, you'll know a little <laughs> bit more about pop culture than I do because I don't really have an interest in pop culture. That's not nerdy. Yeah, so, if it's not nerdy, I'm just like, give me the anime. <laughs> we were watching America's Got Talent tonight, which is like last week's. So don't give me any spoilers. I don't know what happened. We didn't get to the end, and we're a week behind. <laughs> but the guy that was at the circus when you were little with the stand-up hair. Oh yeah, y'all laughing. Yeah, that's because in high school he was a nerd. So he decided that that's what he said. He was a nerd, so he decided that he didn't fit in anywhere, so he was going to join the circus and, and become a daredevil. And Okay, I get the joy in the circus part. I do not get the daredevil part. <laughs> and the sticking his hair straight up. That was his... He said he got made fun of because he had buck teeth, he had red hair, and he was a nerd. Yeah. And so he decided to be his own you mean, person. A lot of people have that story, but not very many of them have the circus part. <laughs> Yeah, or tonight being shot out of a cannon over a helicopter that had its propellers going and landing in. Yeah, a... I do not like the Daredevil <laughs> um, stuff unless it's Daredevil from Marvel. <laughs> so I, I really, really do not get, get it. That you know my reaction to a simple thing, the way in the yard. I do not like it because it could burn the house down. Oh, this is true. There's a funny story when, <laughs> when I guess the girls were like, uh, the three little girls, They're not little girls anymore, but you know. That's what you always call us. The girls. That's Hannah, Rachel, and Caroline. That's who that means. They were probably 10, no, older than that, maybe 12, 
10 to 11 and 9, 8 to 9. I've always had a strong sense of self-preservation, unlike Caroline. And so, <laughs> she we, really, you know it, unlike Caroline. <laughs> unlike Caroline. Caroline has always been the one, oh, I wonder <laughs> if I can sharpen my finger in the electric yeah. pencil sharpener, child. And yes, she tried. But anyway, she, um, Jean was going to show the girls how to make a blowtorch out of a WD-40 can. In the middle of the yard, in the middle of grass, which is flammable. It was very safe. He knows. Right next to the house. So anyway, <laughs> he's out in the yard light with a lighter in the can. And he's push, And Lindsay, Sarah, Rachel, I mean Hannah and Caroline are on the yard. This is cool. And Caroline's like, oh, can I try? Now, he didn't let the kids do it. <laughs> But they wanted to. Rachel is literally standing at the front door yelling into the yard. The can says, don't get near open flames. And we're just laughing. She wouldn't go out. She wouldn't have any part of it. She didn't want nothing to do with it. So yes, Rachel's daredevil side is non-existent. All it is is me walking somewhere, but my legs say no. <laughs> okay. All right, let me get your smoothie going. Tack. That means and, thank you. In Swedish, yes. Just FYI. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless you, and have a great day. Bye.